Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. It was late in the game when I realized I'd forgotten to look at the latest meteor shower. It is something I always like to do, to remind myself how magnificent God's creations are. Or maybe that's just me. Anyway, out I went to see the stars and the flashes of light startling the sky, except it was cloudy and snowing a bit with a wind. But under the streetlight, the swift flash of flakes could almost have been meteors, if you imagined hard enough. And as I stood there, watching the universe of my imagination, I started thinking about algorithms. Oh, I know, that was completely out of context and stuff when I should have been thinking perspicaciously, but that is, somehow how my brain decides to work when I least expect it. I had been watching older coverage of the gods of Mount Davos and the Green Agenda, just to further enrage my sensibilities for the day, and I'm not sure how my brain decided to do this flip. I suppose I was thinking about what we know and don't know, and how as you get older, sometimes what you know isn't really something you know, because you've actually forgotten the details. Algorithms for example. Somewhere in the vast reach of my history, going back, I am absolutely certain that someone or some book taught me the exact definition of what an algorithm was, and so it was I have wandered all through my life so far, knowing that I know what an algorithm is. But not being an engineer, or a computer person, or a mathematician, I rarely had a reason to use the word algorithm in any grand capacity. But I knew that I knew what it was. Then the day came when people start saying routinely, oh, it's the algorithm. And you think, oh yes of course it is the algorithm. The algorithm has been blamed for every single thing wrong in the world these days, certainly on the internet. And the chorus of blame keeps ratcheting up. We have no freedom of speech now because of the algorithm. We have endless repetitive advertisements because of the algorithms. We are the victims of propaganda because of the algorithms. We are going to end up in an Orwellian hell world totalitarian nightmare because of the algorithms. As if we are at the ultimate mercy not of God or science, but the almighty algorithm. And then, standing there near the streetlight late at night, staring morosely up into the wet wind, you realize you don't really know what an algorithm is, and you have no idea how you ended up thinking about algorithms. So I looked it up. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The word was formed from algorithm the system of Arabic numerals, a word that goes back to Middle English, and ultimately stems from the name of a 9th century Persian mathematician, Abu Jafar Muhammad of New Musa al khwarizmi It means a procedure for solving a mathematical problem in a finite number of steps that frequently involves repetition of an operation. This gave me the aha. It has solved a big question I have always had, one of those mysteries solved that I can finally put away with great satisfaction to forget, until I remember that I've forgotten, which won't happen until I'm very old, and it won't matter at that point, because I'll probably be toothlessly eating gruel, and watching reruns of MASH with the other inmates, and thinking about where I put my slippers by then, which is how life ultimately happens. But I digress. Up there, in the mountains where the gods of Mount Davos frolicked with their colleagues and their $4,400 a night pants, <coughs> Mr. Green Agenda himself was likely wandering the streets, all old and hunched, and ready to retire. Accosted by reporters, he would likely, as with them all, had nothing to say. Nor would he proclaim his intention to retire which is the rumor. 
the quintessential face of the green movement and planet alarmism, has been telling us for decades we're all going to die, unless we give up everything we enjoy, and mostly have worked for, or at least transfer it over to spouses, so we can't be blamed when it all does happen. Mr. Greenpants is one of the lesser gods of Mount Davos, but still a god. One status as lesser or greater is simply determined by how much money you have as we know. The question I always had about Mr. Gore is, why didn't he change his name? Who on earth wants go about life with a moniker that reminds them of slasher movies from the 70s, or gory blood splattered war games and stuff? And why Al? Why not Alan? Or Alphonse? What were his parents even thinking? Carrying on the family name is one thing, but to send a child out into the world all ready to be psychologically scarred, I mean, really. But now we know, don't we? Al Gore is an algorithm. The Al Gore Ithem. All of this nonsense about Abu Jafar Muhammad of New Musa al Khwarizmi is ancient history. The almighty algorithm has been redefined. Al Gore is an algorithm, and his name foreshadowed our demise. We are now all at the mercy of Al Gore, even with his lesser god status. That's why the word is so popular now. Obviously Al Gore is simply one in a series of finite mathematical steps repeating himself. He is a repetitive tool for dismantling the world to save the world. He is not even real is he? He is an idea, invented for a problem. Maybe he didn't even have parents. Maybe he is the first version of robotic artificial intelligence. It could happen. I'm just saying. We should have figured it out then. Idiots we are. But never mind all that. The WEF has decided to install trust in the mooing herds for them by using algorithms, no doubt, and the mooing herds are getting confused. We were used to trusting God, then the science, and now it's the WEF, but now, what about Al Gore? For heaven's sakes. Make up your minds. We haven't got all day, and the end is nigh, as they say. Whoever they are. None of us care anymore. We hate them all. Go away. Here's a quote for the day. So I call the force that we're up against Goliath. Just so I remember what the battle is. Goliath made a terrible mistake and made it most egregiously during C-19, which is, it took all of the competent people. Took all of the courageous people, and it shoved them out of the institutions where they were hanging on. And it created in so doing the dream team. Created every player you could possibly want on your team to fight some historic battle against a terrible evil. All of those people are now at least somewhat awake. They've now been picked on by the same enemy. And yeah, alright, we're outgunned. It has a tremendous amount of power. But we've got all of the people who know how to think. So, I hate to say it, or maybe I like to say it, but, I don't think it's a slam dunk, but I like our odds. B. Weinstein. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable, and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.